Yeah, they actually felt fear, which is interesting because the Creedsmen don't actually have fear. No, they don't, they feel fear because they might have disappointed the Emperor. Still interesting, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Given the yeah. fact that they're literally called the Death Corps of Creed. Well, yeah, they're supposed to be like faceless masses. We are the gods of the New World Order. But yeah, we'll begin when Chrono gets back from eating. Also, I'm gonna turn off my air, air conditioners, because I think chat can probably hear it, but I don't know, but I just... While it might, I might slowly burn to death, it'll at least help you guys not have to hear it. But yeah, if I was a full-time Yugo streamer, I wouldn't feel bad about it, but... Uh, there's so many Yugo streamers. Oh yeah, I forgot about the stupid thing that even the creator of Yu-Gi-Oh! changed when he redid it, which was how Zork looked. Zork. Because he had the dragon you-know-what. Hey, Mac, I have a question. What? What do you think of the Quark? The Quark? The quark? Yeah, I think that's how you say it. Uh, I think they're interesting in terms of... Uh, no one put a fucking off switch on them and somehow they've degenerated to the point where they're not nearly as talkative I thought might kind of dangerous but for you have it off but yeah he's developing his own Astari space marine with apparently Fable has been in contact with Call. I don't know why he's talking to a literal spider mecha man but you know Hey, listen, Call does not believe in restrictions, alright? Yeah, that's why he made one... He made fucking... He made the Sons of the Phoenix. And yeah, also a bunch of other ones that he, sa that he says that they're Sons of Dorne, but we fucking know better than that. It's funny because I actually have ideas on why he thought this was funny. You know what's funny? There is actually a comic that someone made for the Sons of the Phoenix. I don't know where it was or what it's called. Okay, I'm, I'm about halfway back. So what do you mean halfway back? How long? How I, big is your house? I, I, I uh, I'm Oosh. fixing the food right now. It's in the microwave, but it's gonna take like 14 minutes to cook. Well, the, we have 12 microwave. minutes to watch. I, I have to, I have to put it in for seven, mix it, or stir it, and then put it back in for seven more. Uh, why are you making food right now? I was hungry. I, I feel you that. I, food, dude, I concur. You're always hungry. Fat man's how to eat. <laughs> I should probably, I should get something to eat myself. I'm not cause... fat, but I'm slowly losing weight. Mostly because I don't have enough money for food, but that's also a good way of losing weight because you can't yeah. eat. Yeah. True. I'm gonna go. I can relate to that. Also, I think I need to make you guys bigger because there's so many of you right now. So that the people, the nice people on the reaction, uh, which we have been posting over on YouTube, can see you guys. Hello, YouTube. That's Hello. Chrono. He's uh, got a YouTube channel and so is Fable. And Brandy also as well, but she doesn't post as much. I don't, I don't well, post all that much either. <laughs> Maury's just I'm here for the food. Chrono. And Chrono. <laughs> What, what do you mean? I had a use you. You do? <laughs> no. no. I, I delete the videos already. Don't worry. <laughs> don't don't look it up. I'm trying to get more stuff over on YouTube. They, we're not getting as much views, which of course makes me sad because, honestly, everything over the past few weeks has just been piling on. Even though I'm trying to put on a strong face. Yeah, can't say I blame you on that. I'm probably going to die alone, but anyway, how is everyone today? You asked that question three times already. Are you okay, Mac? <laughs> oh, sure. My brain is thinking good and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's not good. That's not good. <laughs> you... Depression is a hell of a thing. Sure is. It's an old friend that I wish never came back, and I try to lock my doors, but he breaks them down. Oh, 
I'm somewhere deep within my mind. I try to keep it locked away. Sometimes it breaks out, then I have to like stuff them back in there. Well, your brain comes out every single time. Yeah. True. I'm a single brain celled individual. Yeah, the summer's so. just around the corner, it'll take a while. Uh, the summer was at one point here for like a year, but then it's gone now. I don't think it's ever coming back. Wait. That's why I'm always sharing a brain cell with Sean. That's why I am. <laughs> I try to look on the bright side, but whenever I do, life kicks me in the jaw. In the dick, whichever one you prefer. Both of them sound terrible, so probably not. Anyway, we're going to start the video, and no, you can't leave to go fix your food when we're while we're doing the video. Okay. <laughs> anyway, because it's 12 minutes long. Anyway. We're back on Terra, where everything's on fire. Oh, no! Fireballs! I think that's a Titan, I'm not sure. No, it's... Well, yeah, Terra's on fire. Great balls of fire. Oh, yeah, this part. <laughs> Have any of you seen, Le uh, what was it, Les Miserables? I know of it, but I've never seen it. Oh, then you're not gonna get this. God damn it. Before you say another word, you better. Before you burn me like a hell. Why do you wear. Why do you have. There is some thrall. Which ain't on it. Uh, it's. This is a whole reference to Les Miserables. Oh. There is not but me who can intercede. It's supposed to be a, a policeman chasing after a criminal who's gone after a different life. Hmm. It's quite literally singing the same line somewhat. <laughs> must make me mad. I've hunted you across the years. There is data you can never change. But, <laughs> but they're obviously changing the words for this. <laughs> Move, bitch. Move, bitch. <laughs> I turned it down, Because that was. I like how he just goes, Move, bitch. <laughs> Damn it. Not a single useful subject has been found yet. I wonder why. Stand and sit around is incredibly boring. It's like being inside a retirement home. Hey, hey, Fyodor. Isn't oh it boring God. around here? Like, incredibly boring? Uh, be quiet, Doc. That's what I just said. No, that's what I just said. You know what would be fun? Letting oh me sit God. on the throne. <laughs> I've always dreamed of being up on that throne. Oh, my there. God. <laughs> Fun things I could do up there. Uncomfortable <laughs> sigh was the sound he made. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there. <sighs> I think he's like Fun stapled. Fun things I could do up there. I think he's like stapled to the leg, by the way. Oh dear. It's a weird battle throne thing, so. Quiet! Giving me a headache. No, you be quiet. Uh, can someone feed the good <laughs> chewy quiets down? We're trying to do important high lord things here. Shut up, little Billy! Now, to the business at hand. What, what were we discussing? I think it was something relating to banning the breathing of air from anyone that is not us. Air is one of the few natural resources left on Terra, and if all of the normals use it, it'll be not left for us. I don't think they would actually do this, but it's the High Lord, so I don't fucking know. Fable, we can't hear you. I'm not really saying anything at the moment. Oh, I thought you were because you lit up. I don't know if the freaking mechanics can actually do that. Some of them are quite literally just a head at some points, and everything's replaced by mechanical stuff. They're, uh, yeah, quite literally everything's left is... Uh, the best way to describe most of the mechanics is they look like robed monks with, like, uh, Doc Ock tentacles coming out of them and wires everywhere. Holy shit. 
Yeah. Uh, as you, uh, some of them truly believe that metal is great and the flesh is weak and all that. Uh, yeah. They somehow believe that it's uncorruptible by chaos, which is not a thing. Machines can be corrupted by chaos. Whatever they are commanding again. I usually seem to generate currents of air right before I have to poo. Wait. Is it breathing important? It is. I'm gonna lay down. Oh my god. Just go up there and find the heretic myself. Oh hey, are you the guys I sent to buy my sandpaper cigarettes? I really need my fix of nicotine. Oh, lacerations. How else do you think I always sound so cigarettes. calm and sexy? Oh, so calm and sexy. Oh my god. Don't we really have some sewers to investigate? We were confronted by three custodies while interrogating some citizens. Custodies? Back with food. Joke. Welcome back. Not the custodians never make the imperial powers. They were right there, though. Ooh. And the custodians told us that the Emperor really is the one who sent the message. Even then, have a thousand dead fucking heretics, are you saying? The custodians are the heretics we are looking for. Well, in that mm -hmm. case, we're all walking straight into the imperial palace and taking those mutant exhibitions sure. with us. Exhibitionist? He's describing the other custodies. Oh god. You know, the ones that aren't wearing clothes. Oh, oh no. The pillar men? Yeah. The the pillar pillar men. Men. Yeah. What do you think you are doing? Pope Decius. Not you. What's that, a JoJo friend? Stop standing around there, all silent and dead. Like oh dear God! Yes. <laughs> My new favorite like character. An, <laughs> like an unplugged mechanic. You mean the emperor? Yes. I just like the text-to-speech thing. It's just freaking hilarious to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He said, "Stop standing around like an unplugged uh, mechanicus adept." <laughs> Who are these? Who are these space marines? <laughs> This anticipation is for some reason. Oh, the uh, the ones that then steal everything. I'm a decaying corpse, so that might also be a contributing factor. Well, they are renowned in the Imperium for stealing a lot of relics from both other chapters <clears throat> and factions within the Imperium. It's not really known how they do it or exactly why, but they have somehow managed to amass astounding amount of war gear due to this. So what are they called? I believe they're called. Ah, oh, the... fuck. Ah, oh, damn it, it fucking what? zoomed in. They surrendered. Oh, well, yeah, they're playing. For those that don't know, Kono's playing Yu Gi Oh over there for some reason. I just played two cards. Well, that's enough for I them to two quit. Cards. Anyway. You played two cards and they quit. <laughs> but yeah, the, the one that he's talking about, I said before, are the Blood Ravens. The Blood Ravens are only, as far as I know, they're not in lore they're, or in any of the books. They're only in the video games, and they do have gear. That they shouldn't have. Which is why everyone makes a meme of them stealing things. And why Russian Badger at one point while playing a 40k game said, Hippity the hoppity, where the fuck is my property? As I said before. Hippity hoppity, where's the, where the fuck is my property? It's basically a meme now that they go around saving planets just to steal stuff from them. <laughs> yes. Um, oh, he said the B. Something. Actually, I don't remember. I don't know if they're canon anymore, or if they are. You just ever were. Still no head. Stupid, the disappointing kind of stupid. Come to think of it, did you say chapter? As oh yeah. He chapter, doesn't know. An entire legion is good at this. Oh no, no, my lord, they are not part of the legion. Why the fuck would there ever exist a single chapter outside of a legion? Well, he doesn't know. Is after the war heresy, an event took place known as the Second Founding. The Second Founding? Oh man. This already sounds about as unnecessary as the Dark Eldar. <laughs> Wasn't that appropriately named only founding good enough? Actually, I think the name was changed to the first founding after they came up with the second one. Really? Wow. Really? What wow. an unbelievable excess of stupid. Yeah, anyway. 
the second founding uh here we go. I was just gonna say it. My singular cybernetic I just detected a large rise in ignorance and hubris in this room from the mere mention of that name. <laughs> Which is a set of rules and guidelines that nowadays is used by thousands of space marine chapters throughout the galaxy. Thousands. Oh, fuck, he's not happy about that. <laughs> Astartes became the foundation for a second founding, as Gulliman decreed that all legions still loyal were to be split up and organized into armies consisting of roughly ten companies each. One of these chapters were to retain their parent legion's original name, symbol, and color scheme, while the others could basically go and do whatever they wanted with that. So now we've got fucking Alpha Marine babies spread out across the entire galaxy, all secluded from the rest of the Imperium to form their own beliefs, dogmas, and hatreds inspired by the original, oh which was already an enormous pile of stupid. That's why the, yeah, the second founding was a thing that a lot of the Primarchs didn't like. <laughs> I just like how he's just like, you've got to be fucking kidding me with this shit. You mean to tell me there's more Space Marine babies out there? It's the reason that Black Templars were formed, who are oh, originally members of uh, the Imperial Fist. <clears throat> Who were uh, the Space Marines with the Primarch Rogel Dorn, who's actually a pretty good father figure. But the Black Templars are completely insane. Their original founder, Sigismund, was actually... Uh, do you want to say about this fable, or should I? Go for it, but... Uh, Sigismund quite literally said that the Emperor was a god, which is why Rogel Dorn kind of deposed him. But Sigismund is also a crazy man who is really good at killing heretics. Like, he went 1v1 a corn space marine. Like, one of their greatest champions. He also has a sword that's just tied to him that I think is warp-powered. It's literally chained to his arm. Holy shit. Yeah. We're, uh, we're gonna meet the chapter master of the current uh, Black Templars eventually. They, uh... The reason the reason they did the whole second founding was because Gilliman believed that if a le like if like a lot of the legions were still legion strong that one day they may be able to rebel again, as they did in the heresy. So he's just like we gotta split them up into smaller chapters. However, some of them actually don't follow that. Specifically, the freaking um, Rogaldon's uh, sons. They they act like they're chapters, but they're like. If we ever need to, let's form a legion again and fight back. Yeah, which they have. this the last wall protocol, which has been called in before during the War of the Beast. It's basically literally saying, "Get in, losers! We're all becoming Imperial Fist again, and fighting is one." And uh, let's see, I believe the Space Wolves also kind of have their own version of it, but they're like, "Yeah, we don't actually believe in this crap, so let's just let's just um, cook the books a little bit." Yeah, Make they, it seem like, oh, we're doing this and that. They don't. Uh, they they never split up. Let's just put it that way. They, they yeah, they really did it. They're still a legion. They just act like they're not, which is funny. Yeah, which is why the uh, Inquisition has a hard time trying to curtail them because they're still legion strong. Oh wow. Yeah, and they have had successor chapters. They just usually don't go out well because the gene seed of the Wolf of Enrica are. Uh, Especially potent and dangerous to mess with, which usually turns oh. people into giant werewolf monster beast things. Okay. There are new founding chapters after the Ultima founding, but after that, mm, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, like the Knights of Russ and a few others that I don't remember. To begin with, seriously, are you actively trying to make my life even more difficult? Um, <laughs> well... In addition, this dumb book has split up the Imperium's mighty bulwark and made it into a rotten picket fence that even a small child could break down. What made you people think that this was a good idea? He does have a point in that splitting yeah. them up like that makes them make their own dogmas and beliefs, and if a swath of them just decide to, you know, join chaos, there's not a lot that can stop them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that is one I can think of that so completely join chaos that made things a lot worse. Uh, you're talking yeah. about the Red Corsairs again, aren't you? Or the Astral Claws. Yeah, but apparently some people don't know if they're still canon, uh, which is kind of sad. Yeah. But yeah, there's also even the Iron Snakes who are a successor to the Ultramarines who do not follow the Codex Astartes. Which I think is funny. 
Well, hmm. Lord, Garland's intentions were noble. He mm -hmm. recognised that in order for something like the Horus Heresy to not ever be possible again, the massive marine armies should be separated and spread out. And now to see no activity is more rampant throughout the galaxy than ever. Perhaps the girl in man's head wasn't stuck so far <laughs> up his buttocks, fervently kissing his own ass, he would have proved right his work before publishing it. For all we know right now, there could be hundreds of chapters out there pledging their allegiance to chaos, or perhaps even worse. And we have no even fucking worse, idea I about it or a way to stop it, because all our defenses are so thinly spread. There could even be chapters consoling and accepting both Zenos and Chaos worshippers into the ranks. Maybe even chapters so fucking reclusive and historically inept yeah. that their mere existence sound like something out of a disgustingly horrible and shitty fan fiction. Huh. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Really uh, we're always being shat on. You fish. Fuck you. You thought that you were This is actually all of, uh, like, the... <laughs> Like, these are all of uh, the Breathe Alpha Boost's friends and their own fake Space Marine chapters. Going to win this poker game, <laughs> but it was actually I, Crash! Oh my god. <laughs> Elephus goes waffles. Did you see that? <laughs> mm hmm. The reason why it does that is his friend Elephus is Belgian, so he's saying. <laughs> so that's why it says Elephus goes waffles. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just because of fucking. Funny enough, I do have a Belgian friend, and I need to ask him about their waffles. Fucking damn it, Gilsman. Speaking of which, did you tell them to cut his life support yet? It is very fucking important. <laughs> Actually, uh, when you've done that, make sure to bring that status field power adapter here. I might need that extra power to charge my data slate to play whatever new Battle Mace 42 million game is out or whatever <laughs> else might exist. That's another reference to the 40k games. It, it's Battle Mace 42 million <laughs> instead of Not 40k. All of you, though, they seriously need to stop releasing those shitty fucking oh, oh my games god. every year. Oh god. Yeah. Call of Duty hasn't stopped. It mm -mm. still hasn't. I, I want to kill Activision with a hammer. Right, my lord. I've heard they're coming out with a Black Ops 6 now. Yeah, they are. Actually, come to think of it, are the Ultramarines somehow connected to all bad things that has They'll happened for the last 10,000 years? They'll probably ruin Black Ops years. forever. It feels they like probably they already keep bringing them up all the time. Well, they have kind of become the poster boys of the Imperium, so can't really avoid mentioning them. Yeah, oh, they become poster which, boys for, for the K. Really? What is it then? The name of the chapter is the Blood. Yeah. Oh, dear God. I'm so sorry for interrupting you, little kitten. I had to turn that down. Oh, shit. It's my eternal torment upon this throne <laughs> made manifest again. We were outside the palace. The, uh, the stripper stodies are a thing that we're going to see quite a bit of. Oh, oh God. Oh. You just saw what? Uh, no, just someone put in their name. Oh. And, um... You know, something very, uh... Fable, are you ready for uh, more stripper stodies? Uh, yeah, oh, it's fine. But yeah, don't worry about it, Kono. So they have arrived. Oh, the imperative Ares. Really? Really? I suggest we go to the High Lords immediately. Perhaps the Inquisitorial representative can be argued with. If not, we can just get home. Eat him or something. There is no time to be lost. Let's go. I'm fucking now. <laughs> For those that don't. Oh, what were you gonna say, Fable? No, I'm laughing at what Kidd said. <laughs> there is no time to be lost. I'm fucking now. <laughs> <laughs> I just like how he tries to jump like them, and he was like, <laughs> I'm done. I don't. Fuck it, I'm done. <laughs> I actually don't remember what I was going to say now. Damn it, what were they talking about before? Well, what were you going to say, Fable? Stripper Zodies? Was that what you were talking about? Yes, those guys are the Stripper Stodies that we call. That's what the community calls them. <laughs> True, though. The way they act, the way Kidden talks about them, the way the Emperor 
that says there's this manifestation of this pain, but yeah, that's perfect. I don't even remember what I put down. Well, that's a bad thing. I was foolish to believe you were uh, I'm gonna like close this the one. Oh, yeah. You are untrustworthy, Bill. Not ever worthy of the Emperor's blessing. I am the only one here worthy of the Emperor's blessing. I am the only one who's going to save him from his very own corrupted bodyguard. You are not entering the palace, Theodore. <laughs> uh, I would like to see Theodore. <laughs> Stop. I'll gladly show you. Guards. Oh, look. <laughs> yeah. A Skyrim reference. <laughs> Stop! You violated the law. This is the Adeptus Sororitas, the uh, the basically the military arm of the Ecclesiarchy. They they don't get talked about a lot, but they are basically an all female warrior group. They are basically super battle nuns. Nuns with guns. Yeah, and there's like six oh. different divisions of them, but yeah. Uh, it's one of the reasons I get angry when GW does things like, Oh, now we have ladies. I'm like, we've always had ladies in 40k. What are you talking about? Yeah, we even have the Sisters of Silence, too. The Sisters of Silence are basically the equivalent to female custodies. Yeah, but you know how everyone doesn't like the fact that they're just there and they don't talk. You gotta have more they... representation. The worst way possible. Uh, it's so forced. I just wish they would... Try to make it more natural for once, dear God. Don't just shove shit in there. I mean, we already have a bunch of cool ladies. Quiet, don't we? <laughs> well, here we are, Theodore. At long last, I can put you and your miserable little cult away. Never to interfere with the Emperor's will again. Hmm. Hmm. Uh. <laughs> Have you forgotten that my throne is a massive weapon arsenal? Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna light you up like a sandpaper cigarette if I had one! Uh. Uh. <laughs> oh, oh, if you and the rest Jeez. of Terra do not meet my command, I still can't get over the whole sandpaper cigarette. <laughs> oh yeah, Dominic. Yeah, throne of judgment. I think that's a melta gun. Which, if it is, I why the fuck does he just have a melta gun? <laughs> to melt his enemies. I mean, you're not wrong. I just took a stab at it because I didn't know what it actually was. I, a melt I gun is fucking... Words. It's basically what it says on the tin. It melts. It melts really good la with lasers. Oh. There is actually... It's a, basically a laser gun. I, If I remember correctly, Alexis Pollux was an Imperial Fist who was so large he could... That uh, Gilliman, one of the like really tall Primarchs, felt uncomfortable talking to him because he would never have to look down. He would just have to look straight at him because he was that big. <laughs> oh, wow. And his main weapon was a power fist, which is basically like a big mecha fist, with an undersling melt-a-gun. Damn. If I remember correctly, he was actually the chapter master or creator of the Crimson Fists. I could be wrong. Which are, uh, they're more of, you know, Imperial Fist no, successors. Fly away from this existence, instead of splattering your blood across the floor. Because that was your primary concern, wasn't it? Now, I am going the, in... The Crimson Fists are actually pretty cool. And I alone will save the Emperor <laughs> and the Imperium of Man! Season one over. We'll get into season two in a second. Because it's fun. Awesome. Oh. What do you want to say? I was going to say, uh, I, th I think it's kind of funny that you can kind of tell who, um, what chapter, like, what successor chapter belongs to a legion, because if they have the name Angel and or Blood, the Blood Angels. Probably, anything yeah. With fist, anything with Fist, Crimson Fist. Like, well... Yeah, it's it's just like that. You can literally tell, but if you look at the salamanders or some other chapter, it's kind of hard to tell. But those ones, yeah, or or the um, or the wolves, they have wolves in their name. Yeah, usually, or, or yeah. something like that. It's like, usually, you guys aren't really that clever with this. They're not that clever. I mean, sometimes with the iron snakes, you can still tell based on their paint, based on their paint scheme. Wow, was that hard for me to say for some reason? 
But yeah, some are just around there that we're not even sure. I don't even think I know who the Astral Claws were the successor of. I know who the Lamentators are because they're my boys, but... Or Lamenters. I always say it two different ways. Anyway. You wanted to go look at your food, Chrono? I'll give you a time to do it. It's also the fact I'm that good. Lot... <laughs> it's also the fact that a lot of chapters actually don't have a uh, set. Um, I believe they don't really have a set uh, gene father, mostly because of the fact that the Imperial records suck ass. Yeah, and sometimes like, some don't like... even know who their gene father was. <laughs> yeah. There's quite literally successor chapters of successor chapters. They're like, where do we come from? I don't know. <laughs> There's one Let's that... Check the record. <laughs> yeah, we don't know either. The funny thing is, there was one chapter that didn't know that they were uh, Blood Angels successors until they finally had people go into the Black Rage. <laughs> and so they even changed their name because they realized, oh, fuck, we're not related to the Ultramarines? Well, fuck. <laughs> I don't blame them for believing they're Ultramarines because there are so many Ultramarines successor chapters. Way too many, in fact. Uh -huh. We're going to set up into this. There is oh, you're good. Many. We're back on Terra. 